Everybody thinks I drink a lot of whiskey. I actually don't drink that much whiskey. Uh, I can't feel my hair anymore. Oh, guys, my pants are soaked. My pants are actually soaked. In person also gave me all of his uh, literature. But these are two bags of that. They have comic books, racist comic books. There's also newsletters. I go after a group called the National Socialist Movement. They even have cookbooks. <laughs> the tweets have included everything from images of uh, my photo uh, being pushed into a gas chamber or a, uh, a caricature of a Jewish figure being uh, kicked by a boot labeled Trump into an oven with a, a caption that someone appended to me saying, get in that oven, Andrew. Uh, and I can vouch for, you know, just how outrageous and anti-Semitic these images are. We had only one picture that was uh, the least offensive that we could put up. But at the same time... You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. I want your love. I want your love. I want your Good morning, chat. Oh, it's a, it's an early morning stream once again. We're going to be continuing with our adventures, our adventures with Daniel, and the wonderful world of Sonic Galaxy. Now, there's much to explore. Much has been found. I'd never been introduced to Danny before, but after spending a bit of the day going through some things, I, I found multiple accounts that he had, Deviant Arts, Fur Affinities, and over 500 chapters of OC Donut Steel fan fiction. Oh, it's going to be it's going to be memorable. It's going to be good times going forward with that. I also found uh, a video about our lovely horrific smelling vagina having cosplayer Tuna Melt Chan. This is uh the one that I was talking about yesterday, the one who was so bad, who smelled so horrendous that people were using social media to track her at an anime convention. So they didn't have to deal with the smell. So you'll get to see what she looks like. She's uh, she's quite the lady. I should say he is quite the lady. Because those biceps are unnaturally large for a woman. And you'll get to see the outfit they were wearing. And let's just say Zim decided to turn seatbelts into a fashion statement. Quite, uh, quite a, a, a unique way to go at an anime convention. I'm not sure what character she was going for other than one that can clear a room just simply due to the smell. So how, how are we this morning, chat, before we jump into the, the fun times? How's, how's your morning going? Are you ready to start the day off right? You've got uh, all the exciting things to go for, uh, you know, your work, your school. Currently I'm in Arctic hellscape known as the Midwest, where we have uh, had to board up the windows because the wind, the wind chill outside is so, so terrible. If you were to be exposed to it for more than three or four seconds, you'd probably turn into a, a block of ice. Just instantly. You'd start to crystallize. It's like some weird Ice Nine shit. We've gone, we've gone completely into science fiction. Just mere exposure to it will suddenly turn you into a solid block of ice. Oh, you're lit? I see somebody in chat is fucking lit. That's a way to start the day. You always want to be fucking lit. Well, I thought we could start off with Tuna Melt Chan before we go into Danny. Good old Danny. And the Sonic fandom. I had a lot of fun with that yesterday. Going to take a look at uh, 
<laughs> what our little our little boy has been up to. But let me first pull up. Oh, where the fuck is it? Tuna Melt Chan. Of course the name fits perfectly, doesn't it? This is from Anime Expo 2010. That gives you an idea of the time frame we're talking about. This is somebody that was well known on the CGL board and uh, talked about quite a bit on the CGL board. You can find archives of threads discussing Tuna Melt Chan all the way from 2013 up to 2018. I mean, people are still talking about it. But I'll play the video. You can tell me which particular individual you think is the one that has a vagina that smells like a garbage disposal. So let me just get this centered on screen. There we go. Perfect. Fantastic. Everything's going. Everything's turning up roses, except for her vagina. She needs to douche a little more. But maybe nobody ever taught her that. Can't, can't do anything about it. Okay, where are we? I believe this is the one I want. Yep. Display capture. Let me get that out of the way so we get a little bigger. Okay, let's start this off. This is the uh, awful techno dancing Air Gear Dance Battle Anime Expo 2010. Oh, look at this faggot with his hookah necklace, his sunglasses, and his fucking rollerblades. <laughs> he came right off the set of the revival of Gleaming the Cube. Never came out into theaters because they realized how stupid an idea it was. Now, see if you can spot our Tuna Melt Chan, as this guy is desperately doing the mating dance of the autist. Look at, look at the guy in the background in the red shirt acting like it's a fucking square dance. He's completely out of his element. Doesn't understand what's going on today. Oh, wicked, wicked jump, bro. Right over that guitar case. Oh, I can bet all the vaginas in the vicinity are fucking soaking wet right now. Oh, look at that. Athletic ability. X Games, here I come. Fuck you, Tony Hawk. I'm the new top dog in town. Showing us his mastery of uh, the soap shoe art. Taken to the extreme of rollerblading. <laughs> this is this is uh really encapsulates anime conventions to a T, I think. But let's skip ahead a little bit. Let's see when our when a girl appears. You'll probably be able to notice by the people who suddenly start vomiting. Don't want to give anything away too quickly. Okay, here we go. Now, can you guess which one out of this glorious crowd of uh healthy, sane individuals uh is Tuna Melt Chan? If you were to take a guess on the people on screen right now, chat, which one of them do you think would be Tuna Melt Chan? I mean, just left side, right side, middle. Who do, you, who do you think that would apply to? Is this from 1993? No, 2010. I know, it's remarkable. Anybody using rollerblades in this day and age, I couldn't tell you. The guy sitting on the ground with the uh, black uh, windbreaker and the white stripes looks like uh, he's out of a fucking uh, teen movie. From the, more like 2004. The giant goggle glasses. Oh, I'm seeing some people saying they have an idea of who it might be on the right side in the pink. If you guess the woman that took fucking uh, seatbelts and painted them and then used that as the outfit she was going to wear to an anime convention while forgetting to bathe herself, that would be correct. You were correct. That is Tuna Melt Champ. Let's see how this goes. It was the mating dance of the autist. What's up, baby? You want some of this? She's thinking, well, my vagina smells bad enough. I can probably take him in a fight. It's like the incel version of Mortal Kombat. Who can be more awkward towards the other? I'm seeing some braps in chat. <laughs> some braps. There we go. Here comes Tuna Melch, all oh, little little Chinese Kung Fu. Got to impress the ladies. Somebody forgot to inform this gentleman there are no black people in anime. I think he's lost. Here she comes. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Who doesn't like seeing a woman dance like that and twerk a little bit when she's got at least 50 extra pounds around the midsection? And the dog collar really completes the look. Yeah, spread those legs. Make sure they really savor the flavor of that scent. And every virgin immediately jumps on it. Look at every single guy at this convention sees this bitch dressed in seatbelts and runs towards her. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know what the fuck is happening. Oh, she's decided she's wearing too much. Better take some seatbelts off. I'm too 
I'm dressed too conservatively for this anime convention. I think it's right about now that he's realized that smell is coming from down there. You can see his eyes are focused downwards. I think he's realized we have an issue. I have made a fucking mistake. He's trying to block the scent out with something he's picked off the ground. Looks like a used condom. Maybe the taste of another man's semen will help to block out the stench of her vagina. Oh, now they're putting her back in her cage. Better put those seatbelts back on. Got a little too risque. But that's Tuna Melt Chan. If you want an idea of what she looked like, <laughs> there you go. Again, if you'd like to read more about her and her wild adventures at Anime Expo 2010 or 2011 or 2012, feel free to look at the archives of the CGL board. They have all the stories and insights you would need to know about this disgusting human being. Okay. <laughs> Just filthy. All right. We left off yesterday having just... You know, I'm going to get this all lined up. Let me make sure I don't want to spoil anything. All right, get that's up. We left off yesterday with Daniel and the adventures of Sonic. Oh, we have a lot to look at today. All right. Let me just make sure. It's going to take me a second to load up everything. Our boy's been a busy boy. He's a busy little boy. All over the internet. Had to track down accounts all over the fucking place. I'm going to have to... What do you know? There's a mature content filter on this DeviantArt. <laughs> I hope you motherfuckers like story time. Because this guy lives for it. Right, yes, that. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm an adult enough to look at this amazing shit. Almost set up, guys. Uh, where else are we? Sonic Galaxy. There we are. Get the website loaded up. I wonder how many more members he's gotten. If you, I think yesterday he was at 33 members. He's at a whopping 86 today. 50 new members. I hope he's really satisfied with that. I don't know. Some of the chat posting on the website makes me think he might be a little upset by it. But we'll find out. We'll find out. Oh. Got to find his fanfiction account where he goes over his character identities. We're almost set up. And I believe there was one more. Where, Where is it? Oh, there we go. Almost ready. He has so many websites. So many websites and things that this guy's done. Okay. And that should bring up his YouTube. And I think I think that will make us good to go. we got a lot to look at. Alright, I'll move this over here. Move that over there. That's all the new shit we haven't seen. We've got... Uh, there's, there's a story, a tragedy here that we really need to go over. We're going to hear about what happened with his best friend Kai... If you remember, <laughs> I, I don't even know how to explain this. This is so bizarre, but he had some friends on his forum, and uh, apparently they got tired of him contacting them every other fucking day. So Daniel decided, uh, he, you know, he was upset about that, made a few videos. His forever friends they didn't want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with him anymore. Let me just, uh, we'll, we'll just dive right in. Oh, wait, one more, one more. I almost forgot one. And then I hope you activists out there are ready, because I'm going to need your help with something. Our boy needs our help, okay? And I want to just signal boost it, because that's the proper thing to do. All right, when you notice somebody needs some help, you got to jump in there. you got to jump in there and be a bro, okay? So we're going to be jumping in and being a bro for him today. All right, here we go. There you are, chat. You're on the right side. I hope you're ready. So, you know, I mean, he talked about how sad it was his forum wasn't doing well. So let's jump into that first. Because there's a petition on iPetitions. Your voice counts. It's very sad. He only got two signatures. I believe that's from him and his headmate. But I'm going to read it for you anyway. And if you want to sign that petition, be sure to jump in there and sign it for him. Daniel Moore, keep the Sonic Galaxy forums alive. Since the departure of Kenneth, Kenneth S. Patsfield... It has come to my attention that I will be needing more members for this Sonic Galaxy forum. As you can see, I am very lonely at this moment. So I need some more people. I'll need more admins, some mods, and a co-story a co writer. For those of you who haven't signed this petition, please do so now. The future of Sonic, Mario, and other franchises depends on it. Guys, come on. The future depends on... Do you want to let Daniel Moore down? You heartless fucks. K 
keep the Sonic Galaxy forums alive at www.ipetitions.com backslash petition backslash keep the Sonic Galaxy forums alive. His goal is 50. He's got two signatures on there. He only needs 48 more. Now granted, this petition's been up for, I think, five years, but we can still hit that goal. You guys just need to chip in. We can do a good thing. A good thing like when we joined his forum to spread cheer and joy in his life. Now, well, it won't jump into this. This has been archived by somebody. It's still available, though. This is uh, Danny Genetic Bioweapon XX39. This is uh, his profile from July, or I'm sorry, from June 14th, 2011. And it talks about uh, it talks about his amazing writing. I mean, we want more background story on Danny the Panda and all the amazing characters he's created. And what better way to find it? Then on his fan fiction account. Hello everyone. My name is Daniel Paul Moore, and I come from Galesburg, Michigan. What I do enjoy doing in my spare time, you ask? The answer is simple. I enjoy playing video games, mostly the Sonic and Mario ones, watching videos on the internet, cooking food for my family, and of course, watching Japanese anime. Ever wondered what it would be like if you made a crossover of Sonic, Soul Calibur, and Mortal Kombat? If Mega Man meets Sonic and Mario? If you've made a character and if you want to use him or her in your stories, well, this is the website for you. A ton of characters that I've made. If anyone can help me on my ideas of the stories I make, please feel free. I'm all ears. In the meantime, here are some of my characters. So by all means, allow me to tell you what they are. Get ready for the deep lore chat. Here we go. Danny the Panda. Biological creation of Professor Kelvin Ricudo of the Lancefield family. Always a creature who loves to run at 300 evil threats countless times. Armed with his bio blood flowing through his veins, Danny always has one thing that he likes to do, and that is to save, or to race with anyone who is as fast as he is. Musume Kimishima, the beautiful red-headed sister of Masuko, known for both or being both the biological mother of Jillian and the adopted mother of the white dragon, Tashi, Gendorix. She has been in love with Kai for years, though she was born a full-blooded human being, despite the fact that her mother and father are both humans. In the past, she and her brother were infected and turned into humanoid viruses by the evil crone, Musoko and Musimi. <laughs> Such, so much weeb shit. Musoko and Musimi became full-blooded humans again now that the virus in their bodies has been removed. Musoku Kimishima, a big fan of anime, video games, and manga. Musoko was born a full-blooded human being just like his sister, Musumi. He was infected by a crone and turned into a blue humanoid virus, only to become a full-fledged human being again after they were removed. It is shown that Musoko does not like Kai and Jillian one bit mostly because of her annoyance. If you remember, Kai was the co-founder of his uh, forums, getting a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, not only self-insertion with Danny the Panda into his stories, but we're also getting people around him that he knows getting inserted into his stories. It reminds me quite a bit, there, there's some remarkable parallels between Danny and Chris when it comes to the comic world that they've created. Now we've got Natsumi, Naminst, na, Naminst, Natsumi Naminst, the sister of Kai Naminst, who Musume has been friends with for years. It's unknown whether or not she has feelings for Starkiller Galen Merrick, but she did accept the bird girl Faya into her family under the name Faya Naminst. Formerly a brood in the beginning, she became a full-blooded human like Musume, which means that she is able to unite with Musume to become Tipo, or with Musume and Miwa to become Trinity. We've got transformations. That's exciting. Kai Naminst, being the husband of Masume Kimisha, the son of the Windolf Naminst, and a brood of the Red Dragon Clan, as well as the sister of <laughs> Goddamn Natsume Naminst, Kai holds a friendly grudge against his longtime friend Danny the Panda. He not only wields the elements of light and darkness, but he also has the ability to transform into a dragon, much of to his blood heritage. His no. His nobody is Riku? Not sure what a nobody is. 
I'm going to skip the last couple of characters because I'm wanting to eat a bullet at the moment, but let's read this last couple of paragraphs. For those of you who want to help out on my video game anime PC gaming crossovers, please, please feel free to visit the forum that I have made to drop in your ideas and suggestions. The link is fanfiction.net backslash myforums backslash Danny Genetic Bioweapons XX39. Don't forget to give me and my stories some support. Also, I am in desperate need of some new partners for my website due to my last one who is retired that could sure use some tuning up and changes. Here's the link, and that's the Envision free link to Sonic Galaxy 3. I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed the background on the stories. I, I Yes, I'm reading you, Chad. Again, Jim? Yeah, we're going to go over the fucking lore of this shit. If that's not what you're looking for, I don't know what to tell you. Danny the Panda is the hottest shit on the internet. Maybe tune in. Get hip with what the kids like. All right, legends are fucking eternal. And Danny told me this himself. <laughs> Welcome to his Deviant Art page. Did you know that we have a an uh, an artist, not just an author, an artist? Daniel Paul Moore doesn't just write shit; he draws it as well. And apparently, his fetish is crippled girls whose arms have been broken. Look at that. I'm not sure what character this is, but that's some sexy shit. Nothing like a woman who's fucking. Uh, <laughs> whose calves are twice the size of her biceps. That just screams sexy time to me. The daughter of Musuki Kimisha and Soju's sister. She will appear at SG Heroic Legends. Oh boy. What a beautiful lady. There are a lot of beautiful ladies on his DeviantArt. And uh, he's been quite active. We, I thought he disappeared for a while, but he submits on DeviantArt almost every day. He's been doing it multiple times this last week. So our little Danny, he's not gone. He's still kicking. And I hope you're looking at this literature. There are a lot of fucking stories. In fact, we're going to be looking at just just an ass ton of stories today. Because when I was browsing through here and I, I was looking at what we had, you know, when we originally went in, we, we read one story. But then I noticed uh, there's other stories, other stories by Danny, crossover stories, modern side stories, reboot side stories. And there are even more story sections the farther you go down. So, buckle the fuck up. We've got good shit ahead of us. You want to start, but we've got so many good OC Donuts stories to go through. Colliding worlds or worlds together. Now, we've already met the characters of Danny the Panda, Deadpool, and Sonic, but there's a whole cast of characters in these two stories. Colliding Worlds, this takes place after the Frozen Storm story, and in between the first and second installments of Adventures of Danny the Panda storyline, or Worlds Together. This takes place after the Return of the Panda story, in the modern Sonic Galaxy storyline, and after the Lost Mine, and the Sonic Galaxy's reboot storyline. Our boy hasn't just been making YouTube videos for ten years, nor has he just been drawing horrendous art on DeviantArt for eight years. He has been making stories non-stop, 500 chapters worth, for the last decade. 500 fucking chapters of his adventures in the Sonic franchise. I'm telling you, the lore doesn't get deeper. Oh, it is. That's amazing. You are correct, chat. Now, let me see if I can find... We're going to watch a few of his videos... And then we're going to jump back into... Oh, I can get rid of that. We're going to jump back into his storylines. Well, let's see. I, I, I selected some of these earlier on. Deadpool's got something for you to watch. Which, sadly, isn't really him talking. It's just kind of a montage. But hopefully, because it's previously viewed, I should be able to find it. There, there are a lot of videos to go through. I was just kind of picking and choosing. He also animated his storylines. I mean, check out that hot scene. That's Sonic making out with, I don't even know what that is. Some kind of hedgehog. Some kind of hedgehogs getting the deep loving. Oh, he also did a live stream. 15 minutes of him not knowing how to work his fucking microphone. We can take a quick look at that. I was watching this earlier. Do you like the sound of a refrigerator running at full fucking volume in the background? Or maybe that's a dishwasher or the laundry machine. I'm not 100% certain. Whatever it is, full fucking tilt. Non-fucking stop. You can, you can hear him typing, which confuses me, because if you can hear him typing, then the microphone is picking up the noise that he's making. 
and yet he won't talk. Instead, he's using a WordPad document to create a conversation with people that don't actually exist. I don't know if you've noticed that. He's so insane that he does a live stream with no viewers watching and then creates characters to have conversations being talked about in a WordPress document. You can see you can see him right there in the chat. All right, can anybody hear me? Anyone there? All right, beginning everything, let's begin. Oh, I got two people watching me now. Who is it? No responses. Instead, we've got the WordPad document. And these are his characters from his stories that are talking to him. That's Misuko. We, we saw the stats on that. Kai, you should recognize his name. Jillian, I hear you. Does she ever quit? Having a whole conversation in the background. That is... I've, you know, there's lonely fucks on the internet. And then there's Daniel Moore. When you host a live stream with no one watching and no one commenting and no one rating what you're doing, that you have to take your imaginary science fiction fanfic characters, open up a WordPad document, and create a fake chat of them talking to you, it might be time to, it might be time to consider taking that full dose of uh, lithium or Thorazine that the doctors have been prescribing. Okay, let's let's continue on. I was really hoping he would have regaled us with some amazing stories, but sadly there there was nothing to share. He didn't ever talk during that fifteen minute segment. <laughs> and he uses I does anybody know what Phil Mora is? He has this watermark that appears on every fucking video for like six years straight. Every video he uploaded, it was always Phil Mora. It reminds me of like Hypercam, unregistered Hypercam. <laughs> I don't know what it is. is it editing software? Every, every single video this guy puts up, it's got that fucking thing slapped on the top of it. Oh, where's the one about the heartbreak with Kai? We need to find that. If you remember yesterday, we read a forum post, an exchange between him and his co-founder about getting messages. Oh, actually, I can find, I, I can find part of this. Hold on. Uh, and this was two years ago, and if you go and check up yesterday's stream, you'll find it. Hold on. Oh, look, this is his discussion page, by the way, of him just talking to himself and nobody else. It's it's very... Oh, here we go. Okay, something's truly wrong with my YouTube account. I've been trying to contact a friend of mine, but for some reason, I'm not getting any YouTube PM messages. If anyone can help me find an easier way for this, I'd be truly grateful. Thanks in advance. I think I'm doing my part for the most part. I need to get some rest now. Please excuse me. <laughs> and he doesn't... He hates Alpha Omega Sen. I guess he's a fucking Amy Rose lover. He's pure evil. If you see him, block him completely. Oh, there's an enemies list. I don't know if you've seen this yet, but on his forum, he's got a, uh, a designed enemies list for the people that he just finds to be atrocious. All right, let's we'll go oldest to newest. I think that's the best way to do this. Uh, this is him talking about his characters. I'm, I'm starting to decipher what I'm watching with this shit. There's a Gamers Rise Up video. Uh, another character. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's him singing. We've seen that. Apparently, he had to remove multiple singing videos because of copyrights. It almost uh, cost him his channel, surprisingly. I don't know if that's ever going to come back online or if that's lost to the to the winds of change, but... Apparently there were quite a few singing videos that are never to be seen again. Lots of Let's Plays, too. Uh, I think it's just below this that we get into the Naruto cosplays and all the other stuff. Not feeling like myself right now. I think this is the one where he talks about his mind going crazy. Hello, YouTubers. Danny here. Look, um... You're probably wondering why I got blocked for some reason. All of a sudden, I... I don't feel like myself recently. No matter how many times I try. Ever since I sent Kenny a friend invitation to my channel, I've been ignored. Yeah, this is one theme that I've noticed with him. And you'll notice when we start going through his forum posts, his stories, his comments on his stories, and his videos. He, he is desperate for what he calls a forever friend. But for some reason, he can't find a forever friend. And everybody he messages 
won't message him back. So he'll send friend requests and messages to people. And then when they don't respond, he has a breakdown. And he puts up videos and posts talking about it. And apparently this Kenny guy he sent a few to never got a response. He just doesn't feel like himself at the moment. I didn't do anything wrong. It's just, I feel like I'm having a total breakdown. What am I supposed to do now? This is a turmoil for me. Then I'm afraid I'll, that I'll have to prepare a voting contest. So now, now I have no choice but to like or favorite his videos. I'm sorry, everyone. At this point, all I can do are like and favorite his videos. Why won't you be my forever friend, Kenny? What did I, what did I do to you, Kenny? I just, I just want to be your friend. Oh, here's another one. This is depressing as fuck, too. Just this, <laughs> just a short message for you guys. Nothing else. Get a load of this shit. short so I don't feel like talking about anything right now. Hey YouTube friends, quick update. <laughs> he puts a stress sigh in there. <clears throat> hey guys, quick update. I don't feel like talking about anything right now. Alright, thanks for watching my video. That's about all. Nice 50 second update in case people were curious what's going on. I hope that we all learned our lesson today. Oh, maybe he's going to tell us where the hookers are buried. Hello, YouTubers. Danny here. Well, everyone, I hope we all learned our lesson here today. Losing a good friend is a pain that we all cannot bear. We're all humans here. Just remember one thing, though. There comes a time that we must end our painful past and move on to a better future. Don't worry, everyone. I'll still be here on YouTube, no matter what happens. I'll be your friend to the end, Kenny. You may not respond to my messages, but I'm going to be your friend anyway. I'm going to like and favorite everything, Kenny. You can't get rid of me. I'm there, Kenny. In your bushes. Outside your window, in the middle of the night, I'm your forever friend, Kenny. Why won't you be my forever friend? Danny the panda just wants to hug you, Kenny. Why don't you want to hug the beautiful panda? Why don't you want to be Danny's forever friend? Nothing, uh, nothing psychotic about this. Maybe he went off his meds for a day. Back to all the Mega Man Let's Plays. <laughs> what to expect? I can't remember what this one is. Hello YouTubers, Danny here. You know, I've been getting a lot of YouTube cyber trolls yakking and yakking up my ass. You fucking cyber trolls yakking up his ass. Stop it. This is a bully free zone. We are the sweetie squad. We spread joy and mirth across the internet. Get out of his ass, cyber trolls. About shit and stuff. Well, I'm already getting sick of this, so... I'll make it a quick one on some things to expect in the future. First off, I was thinking about doing a playthrough of the upcoming Mario Party 9 game for the Wii, as well as the Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 2 game for the X- I love that you can see his eyes reading the script. He just can't talk normally to a camera. He, everything you're hearing him say has been written down beforehand. And he won't look directly at you. You can see his eyes go right to left. Xbox Live in the 360. Well, guess what? That game that has Sonic and Tails in it, it's going to be fun. And you know how much I like Sonic games that have only Sonic and Tails. Also, here's a message to the cyber trolls who insult me too much. Any more of your negative criticism comments? And I will burn you alive! <laughs> Game playing time is over. I think we need to listen to that warning one more time. 
This guy's not fucking around. He's got a katana. Talked about having a gun earlier. He will take a fucking blowtorch to you cyber trolls. And I will burn you alive! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody saying is that a Kujin? Yeah, it might be. Let's see what the reaction to this beautiful video was. Uh, lol. Dude, Danny, this is what I'm talking about, man. You're looking at the script for your uh, cue to laugh, and why are you continuing to look at the script as you laugh? Dude, you seriously have some uh, set amounts of ha-has you were counting. We've got a lot to work on, bro. Sigh, a lot of work. KB Forum is uh, trying to give Danny some advice. Maybe these are some of the uh, cyber trolls. You scare me a bit. I am everywhere. Where are you looking? My eyes are on the cam. Put your dad's welding torch back in his tool shed right away, mister. What the actual fuck? A blowtorch. Come at me, bro. Not to... Uh, not taking, not taking that very serious. We have a lot of work to do. Your autism is off the fucking charts, my man. Oh, here's some more fat Naruto videos. I know you guys like the fat Naruto videos. Oh, here's the triumphant return of uh, Sonic Galaxy. Let's watch this. You are watching the Danny the Panda channel on YouTube. If you choose to be nice or mean, you need to remember this. If you are nice and want to check out my videos, then be sure to comment positively and subscribe. If you are mean and nasty, however, don't bother coming to my channel, ever. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Hello, YouTubers. Danny here. Yes, it's been a while and all, but somehow I've become reborn. That's right. I am a reborn man. The operation was a success. They transformed my vagina into a beautiful trans penis. I, was, I like the basement that this dude lives in. It looks like a set from Red Letter Media. For all the Star Wars reviews, he's got this fucking nasty, beat-up fucking uh, uh, couch bed laid up against the wall because the couch itself is disintegrated. The wood paneling that looks like it's from the fucking 1960s, probably packed with asbestos. And the chair that his grandfather died in. What a depressing set. As this fat man dresses Naruto, begs the internet for somebody to be his forever friend. Why won't you be his forever friend? Now, where do I start? Ah, yes. I'm going to be getting the Wii U soon, just so that you all know. I've seen a lot of videos of Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed, including the playthroughs, made by Sonic JGB, Blue Racer 7, Kobanarmani 456, Frockinock 3. So yeah, I was planning on getting the bonus edition since it has way more content. I'm going to be playing as... as... Not just Sonic the Hedgehog, but Miles Tails Prower, Knuckles the Echidna, and my new personal favorite, Wreck-It Ralph. I'M GONNA WRECK IT! <laughs> That's gotta. I'm clipping the shit out of that. Oh, he's gonna fucking wreck it good. Ralph, I'm gonna wreck it. I am also planning on recording the gameplay of New Super Mario Brothers U for the Wii U, since I already know what this game does and stuff. I wasn't able to upload the New Super Mario Brothers 2 walkthrough videos since I accidentally deleted them. Can you believe this? But yeah. Let's hope that I don't do the same thing to the new Mario game, because that would suck. You've also pretty much seen my intro video of me telling you guys to comment and subscribe. Don't forget to support my channel, because it's the now most important thing to do. If you are a Sonic fan or a Mario fan, of course. So yeah, keep that in mind, you guys, because the Wii U, as well as these two games that come with it, will come where I live soon. Cause I is a video game and legend. Rise up, rise up, chat. Gamer girl, go home. Since the 1990s. Oh, and one more thing. Do you have any idea on how much the Wii U costs? Around three hundred dollars. 
Is it just me, or are the video game consoles getting more expensive? No matter, I'll just get it either this Christmas or 2013. Well, there you have it, folks. Until next time, this is Danny saying take care. Toodaloo, I'm going to hit you in the face of the blowtorch and bury you in my basement so you'll be my forever, my forever friend forever. I like this one. Six years ago, by the way, my 400th video, or is it? Leaving you with a little bit of doubt, you never know. We've seen the time to strike is now, keep the, keep the forums alive. And of course, my website is dead. <laughs> I just, oh... This is like a fucking gold mine. Unexplored potential. There's so many videos. There's so many stories. And I have a feeling he's got more fucking accounts than people even realize. Under alternate names. And that's how I found his, uh, his DeviantArt was looking up his email that he lists on his YouTube. The link to Legends Are Eternal. And what do you know, the same characters are there that are up on his Fur Affinity account. Just video after video. Decades worth. Of fucking content. Oh, this was a period in this time where things were doing a bit bad, okay? Two years ago. Again, remember, two years ago is when Kai stopped talking to him. You people never listen. That's it. All this waiting and stuff is killing me. Everyone dislikes my videos. I've been scarred and wounded for life after hearing the truth. i become a deserted, unlikable man. I can't take this anymore. I'm out of here. Good day. Oh, no, Danny. You need to stick around, buddy. <laughs> the video's got four dislikes. I'm leaving because everybody's mean to me. Four dislikes. You know what? There you go. Chin, chin up, buddy. Chin up. By the way, I'm so out of here, you betrayed me. Betrayal. I've been betrayed. Kai, why won't you be my forever friend? Kenny, Kenny left me. Why did you leave me, Kai? I say good day to you. Comment or I'll go crazy. I'm sorry. I just feel uneasy after what happened this weekend. And for five reasons. One, I'm stuck on the second scene of the second part of Chapter 16 of Worlds Together. Two. I, I want you all to understand what we're looking at. All right. This is perfection. This is like Chris Chan, if Chris Chan hadn't been discovered. Everything about this guy's videos is a parody that's real. When Red Supre used to make fun of Let's Players, they talked about poor fucking image quality, terrible fucking avatars, terrible fucking sound quality, unregistered hypercam too. And he is every one of those things in hundreds of fucking videos nobody has watched. Wondershare Filmoria watermark on top of his horrendous fucking donut steel OC character, Panda, or Danny the Panda, or whatever the fuck this thing is. He's got, I don't, it sounds like he's running a power tool in the background. And his fucking video is titled, Comment or I Will Go Crazy. All this waiting for so many hours for a comment on YouTube is killing me. Free. I was at my dad's mom's today. Four, I have my real life sister's wedding to attend to this June. And five, I haven't heard back from my friend in New Hampshire yet. If only he just gave me an update on what happened. His friend from New Hampshire. Now, I'm not sure if that's Kenny or if that's Kai. We're still piecing together the mystery of who the heartbreak in New Hampshire was. But we'll get there. Like, or literally, you guys, just comment. Comment! Danny, you rock and rule. Psalmist brought me here. What's going on here, Danny? Did he get a... Nothing much. I'm, <clears throat> I'm stuck with many things right now. I need to wait for my friend from New Hampshire to answer me. Comment. Is this enough? Following directions. Yes, close enough. Giga Schlee. Close enough. Thanks, Garrett J. Man, I wish my friend from New Hampshire would give me an update right now. I still need his help. Daniel Moore, what do you need help for? Oh, I don't know. I'm stuck on something right now, and I'm kind of waiting to hear word from him. Spencer Browning, how dare you, you semi-sentient sack of schleem. 
It will expose. I will. <laughs> I'll expose your lies to the world, Garrett J. The truth will be your reckoning. <laughs> you. There's a reckoning coming, Garrett. I'm gonna drop the thunder on your fucking head. How dare you come to Daniel Moore's YouTube page and comment? Shit's coming, buddy. I'm bringing hell with me. Oh, there's there's so many backstory. There's so much backstory and you know side characters to this. We're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Oh, somebody's saying visit him. Okay, hold on. Did he do a fucking tour of his house? Because if he did a tour of his house, uh, <laughs> please tell me he did a tour of his house. Oh, don't cock tease me. What do we got here? Okay, never mind. That was that was somebody just uh, putting up the video I was showing. Okay, I I got really excited there for a minute. I got really really excited for a moment. A little more Danny lore. Oh my God, look at this. Danny XX 39s live stream fun time. Live stream fun time. And no, that's not your, your stream going mute. Let me make sure. Yeah, no, audio's kicking in. That's just him not saying anything. This is where I make some story ideas for my Sonic Galaxy Forums website. Feel free to drop by. Anyone is welcome here. And apparently, maybe that was Kai or Kenny just said, fuck you, I don't care. Oh, this reminds me... This reminds me of kids that used to make, like, AMV videos back in 2007. And somebody would say, hey, man, what do you use... What do you use to edit with? Or somebody would say, hey, how do you download that? And they would put up videos. They would put up fucking videos that were instructional videos with WordPad documents open like this. And they'd have like Linkin Park playing in the background. And then they, they would type out what was happening. That's what we're looking at. Let's jump ahead a little bit. For those of you who are watching my channel, this is where I will be live streaming Sonic Galaxy stuff. Sonic Galaxy related stuff. Important to spell check that. Let's delete that. And <laughs> I'm taking 20 minutes to write another sentence. The fifth chapter begins with Danny Lansfield, Neo Sonic, and the others. Designated area. Oh, here we go. He's back to doing this again. Oh my god, there's a chat replay. Oh, this is so fucking depressing. Are you seeing this? He's 23 minutes into his live stream. Here's all the shit that's been said on his chat replay. It's just him. Nobody else is saying anything. It's just comment after comment of him talking to no one. Holy fuck, that's sad. Oh, Danny. Oh, he just wants a forever friend. Why won't the internet be his forever friend? And then, of course, the most recent video from a month ago. No longer a Sonic fan. You know, I wonder if anybody's given him some inspirational... Oh, I love that music. And some inspirational words of wisdom. Friendship ended with Sonic. Mario is my friend now. Now, wait a minute. Danny, no. Danny, no! Air horns. It reminds me of one of my favorite country songs titled, Amy is a Whore. It's too late now, Danny. Take the rope! I'm gonna say the N-word on your channel. We was Sonic fans. Das right. I love Lacritz. Also, Tsunami is the best. Would you like to RP with me? Colon three. Retards, rise up. I really don't understand what you have against Son Amy. Would you elaborate? No way. This is terrible. Miserable. Just miserable. God hates you. And Sonic does too. Danny, no. Bing Bing, Wachungus. Bing Bing, Wahoo. He's getting quite a few comments, but I'm not seeing any responses from our boy. It's, uh, it's a little sad, I'll be honest with you. We've watched some Danny videos. We're going to take a look at his DeviantArt soon. But we've got stories to read. And I'm trying to figure out what do we want to read. You know, we're going to start with Colliding Worlds. And if you've noticed, there are no responses to any of these. Just no, no, not a single response. And they're like 40 views. I don't know who those views are coming from. But let's begin. 
Oh, boy. This is from Danny. This is Colliding Worlds, his uh, unique Do Not Steal storyline. This prologue of it. Number one. The Screw Attack logo appears on screen. Our favorite character, of course, makes a return. Here we go. Deadpool. This episode of Sonic Galaxy is brought to you in part by Screw Attack. Be sure to check me out in action by watching the Deadpool vs. Deathstroke Death Battle video. The camera fades in to show a view of the skies of Winidia. The sunlight is reflecting on the camera. Soon after, the camera pans down as it shows us a neighborhood in Winidia. Deadpool. Narrator. Okay, so where do we begin? Oh yeah, um, it's past New Year's Eve, and everything in this place you guys call Winidia seems normal. Okay, sure, there are teams of heroes and all, but pandas being kings? Yawn. Been there. Done that. So yeah, allow me to break it down for you. The screen freezes. Deadpool then pops up from the bottom of the screen. Deadpool. Hi. You know me, Wade Wilson, a.k.a. the Merc with the Mouth, the fourth wall breaker Canadian who drinks too much syrup, the guy who killed Deathstroke in a death battle on ScrewAttack.com. Even though Ben Singer and Chad James have nothing against me, you know who I am? Anyway, so many of you are dying to know who leads who. I'm just saying. Here, I'll show you the pictures. Looks around for them. Now, where in my spandex did I keep them? Short pause. Oh, here they are. Picks up photos of Danny, Kai, and Musumi. Wait a minute. These are photographs. What the fuck? Short pause. Guess those will have to do. Well, since I'm here, I'm going to tell you about them. Starts off with a picture of Musami that he is showing to the viewers. Let's start with her. What do we know? Well, she's Masuko's sister, and they're both from Japan, home of giant, robo <laughs> giant robots, kaiju, video games, and Japanese anime. I heard that Nintendo is quite popular with the plumber, just as Sega is with a hedgehog. Anyway, on to her. She's the red-headed beauty who has two daughters. Well, one of them is a monster in disguise. I'm talking about a giant white dragon from outer space. One that can evolve into the next stage. Who'd want to see a human being lay eggs? <laughs> Who'd want to see a human being lay eggs anyway? That's just wrong, bro. Short pause after throwing the picture of Masume behind him. Then there's this guy, Kai. Hey, that rhymed. Shows the picture of Kai Namaste to the viewers. He may look human, but if you look underneath his skin, eek! A draggling rips out from his body. Not really. Can it do something like that? Come on. Dragons don't exist in real life. This has to be some kind of a joke. I mean, why the hell would a human being marry a dragon? I have a thing for women too, you know. Tosses a picture of Kai behind him. Then, of course, there's this. Shows a picture of Danny Lancefield to the viewers. Panda. He who rules the world. Just look at him. Look at the black and white fur on his bod. Who would want to have that stuffed panda to take home with you? Short pause. Yeah, some people would think that. Deadpool clears his throat and tosses a picture of Danny Panda aside. Deadpool. So now that we're done with the explaining, just sit back and watch me throw chimichangas. Deadpool takes out some chimichangas and throws them at the camera laughing maniacally until the camera shifts right to the scene with a view of the Lancefield's house. Deadpool. Hey. The camera shows us a view of Danny Lancefield in the Lancefield's house where his wife, Ayami Lancefield, and his sons, Marcus and Zio, are. Sonic is with him. Marcus is holding the tyrant flame while Zio is holding the erupting flame. Marcus. Whoa! Cool! I always wanted something that enhances my fire elemental powers. Ayami. Danny, are you sure that giving my son something sharp and dangerous will? Sonic interrupts Ayami. Relax, Ayami. My brother's got a sharp knack for delivering his sons and nephews late gifts. Danny, he's right, dear. After all, I wanted them to be just like their own dad. Zeo, the pink lady busted me up good a few months ago. Sonic, you don't have to worry about that, Zeo. As long as toxic rose and her minions are trapped within the world of nothingness, everything is fine. Ayame. But what if one of my sons gets hurt, Sonic says? Nah. Those two have been har <laughs> those two have been harnessing the powers of the fire elemental since you gave them birth. Zeo, you should have seen how awesome I was. I was a brave young man. 
Ayame, until you get sent home into the infirmary room. Zio, give me a break, Mom. My dad gave that pink hedgehog payback. Sonic, um, I don't want to get confused, but there was another pinch... <laughs> There was another pink hedgehog that was her reboot? The camera freezes as it pauses. Deadpool. Yeah, you think that pink reboot you were talking about would be good Amy? She wouldn't hurt a fly unlike the other blue-crazed hedgehog Amy, who's been laying low in a blank white space with her friends for months. Unpause. This is, uh, this is something else. Let me tell you, chat. By the way, this is just the prologue. I just want to be clear on this. Just the prologue. And that's, look at the length we're dealing with. Why hasn't this been animated? <laughs> Why has this story not been animated? Let's jump ahead a little bit. See what happens near the end of the prologue. We'll, we'll continue with uh, Poison. Here we are. The Blood Wizard, the Cosmic Alien, the Traitorous Brood Outcast, and the Banished Dragon Knight. Even Cybrix. They all sucked. Too bad for them. Endymion. None of the villains in this world could defeat Danny Lansfield that roams here. Time and time again has Black Hell been thwarted by the other Danny Lansfield from Alternative Earth, along with his so-called brother. The blue hedgehog with blue arms and a brown scarf? Yeah, that one. I've heard that the panda has acquired the power of the four elements of nature through the elemental spirits. Hmm, you appear to know everything, Endymon. That I do, dear friend. That I do. Not only does the panda possess the power of his friends, but also the power of the seven chaos emeralds, the seven gems of the mystical power. Seder, voiced, played by Frank Welker, off-camera. Correct, Maze. Everyone turns to see him walk in. We must devise a plan for the destruction of both Earth and alternate Earth. Such is the way of Black Hell. Lord Seder. Roxas the panda also seeks to destroy his brother. We cannot allow this. We need to find a way to destroy them as well. He has the dark elemental spirits as well as the spirit of Baron. I thought that Baron was defeated. No. Baron lives in him, as Asterisk lives in Danny's body. So it appears to be. We'll eliminate the panda and his comrades from planet first. Erase them from existence. I like the sound of that. Don't you, Maze? We shall take your plan into consideration, my lord. With the modern panda and his friends out of the picture, phase one of our plan will be complete. Excellent, Maze. I can't wait to meet his friends. <laughs> I'll make every <laughs> I'll make every of his male friend bleed to death, cause I can't stand these goody goody boy stereotypes. You sure have a hatred for men, poison? Of course I do. That's why I have the death kiss as my deadly weapon. I would advise against <laughs> I would advise saving that for later, Poison. Maze is correct again, Poison. We don't want our powers to be put to good er, good waste. It's time we make a grand entrance. Deadpool, the narrator, steps in. Pfft! What a cheapskate these guys are. It's not like you're expecting the great Deadpool to make his grand entrance here. Short pause. Well, would you look at the time? See you all in the first chapter of this side story. Things are about to get interesting. Uh, somebody's saying, this is fucking insane. Well, again, this is a side story to his main story. This is 36 chapters long. It looks to be about 5 to 10 pages long, which is about the normal length of each fucking story he writes. So this is a novel that we have. This side story, this, this one fucking side story, what's it called again? Colliding Worlds. Colliding Worlds, 36 chapters, 10 pages a piece, even if it's five pages, so 150 to 300 pages for a side story involving his hedgehog children, their mastery of the elemental powers, as they fight, <laughs> as they fight black hell, evil uh, bioscientist. I mean, there's so many characters, P humans that fuck dragons, half-breed dragon children, Sonic the Hedgehog and other alternative Sonics, a panda man. So many characters that are fighting the good fight against Black Hell and the misandrist Poison, who just wants to make men bleed with her poisonous kiss of death. I don't know why Kai and Kenny couldn't help him finish his novella. I don't know why they decided to, to stop him 
as he worked towards this grand project, this amazing piece of literature, one amongst many. I, the, just the crossover stories, worlds together. This one is uh, 40 chapters. I, I bet you it's the same fucking length. Let's take a look. Look at this. Oh, it's multiple posts, too. Tekken Force Soldiers. Oh, he brought in Tekken characters into this one. Sarah Bryant, Zayu. <laughs> They're all in. He's br he brought in Tekken characters. That's unique. Uh, Star Killers in here. Neo Sonic, Zero Tails. Then we got we got alternate Earth Danny the Pandas, and then normal Dannys, Toxic Rose and Death Bunny. I don't even know who Death Bunny is. And there's Death Deadpool's in every fucking story. He loves Deadpool. You have to have Deadpool in each and every goddamn story. <laughs> it's important. Oh my God, good times, good stuff. I think I have a few super berries here. Let me read them and we'll get back to the to the good stuff. The good shit. Uh, just give me one moment here. Where am I going? Oh, it's going to be... It's going to be a cunt to me. Okay, all right, we can do. It's not allowing me to do what I... Uh-oh, is Streamy just meltdown? No, there we go. All right, we got a few. I'll read through them quick. We'll get back to the goodness. From Princess Liana. Have you ever converted all your DLive ice cream cones into real money yet? Um, I didn't go on DLive. That was Ralph. Ralph and uh, Zidane and Gator were the ones that ventured off into DLive. That was not something that I... I felt necessary to do. I mostly just streamed on YouTube, but I'm settling into Stream Me. It's much more comfortable. I like Stream Me. Put together a stream, say whatever you want. Chat's unfiltered. People don't even need accounts to comment. You can use troll accounts. That's great. You can use fucking troll accounts on this website. Say whatever the fuck you want to say. It's just it's good times. From JG Wentworth, can the next <coughs> excuse me, can the next contest be to animate this faggot's fan fiction? I would love to do that. If you guys want to help me create, you know, we need to bring these characters to life. I want to I want to make it pop off the page. Danny the Panda is a story that the internet needs to hear, but it needs to hear it not just with audio, but through a visual medium. If you can bring life, if you can bring life to his half dragon Japanese daughters, I think the internet would thank you for it. Marnaeus Please keep these morning streams up for posterity. They're some of the best shit you've ever uh, put up, uh, put out, uh, to be honest. That way, if you're here for them, that's great. If you're not, I'm sorry. It's, it's, a, it's a flash in the pan. It's, it's first come, first serve. From Princess Liana, when the fuck are you going to read the fanfics from the writing contest? I wrote fag you, or for you, Nibba. Uh, we'll be reading that in the upcoming week here. Coin flip 458. Fat fuck here. Losing weight so I don't end up like that chicken can eating motherfucker. Lost 28 pounds as of last Monday. Started on the 1st. I ain't trying to die of a heart attack in my 30s. Well, best of luck to you, CoinFlip458. Uh, keep keep on keeping on. It's uh, the simplest thing in the world. Calories in, calories out. You just got to monitor the amount of intake and make sure to have enough movement and uh, exercise and mobility to burn off excess. And you're well on your way to not being a fat fuck. Get off my lawn. Two streams in one day. I hope the cancer age doesn't come back, Jim. Take my last few shekels. Gamers, rise up. From Gopnik. Go, or go out and zap to the extreme Danny. I will. Thank you, Father. Again, from J.G. Wentworth. Can we get a quick smash or pass poll on Tuna Melt Champ? Well, since you asked so nicely, sure, I'll put that up for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, again, I'll, I'll change. I'll change it up a little bit, but I'll put your poll up. There you go. Tuna Melt Chan pulls up in the chat for everybody. Give it the old snifferoo, or just simply vomit. Up to you. You can choose. 
From Aces High 85, I'm at work doing paperwork and thank God you're streaming. Talking about smelly cunts, thanks. From Hyphen, here's a video to prepare you for the Black Spunk. Take a look at that later on. And uh, that work, we're caught up. I don't receive the most super berries on stream me. But I like this site, so I don't really give a shit. So we'll see how that, we'll see how that poll does. <laughs> I could give it a snifferoo or not. Up to you, chat. Truly, truly up to you. I'm going to choose, I think, uh, Vomit is going to be the vote. I don't know what kind of degenerate fucks are watching my streams at 5 in the morning. But I'm seeing 90 people on the poll saying they're going to give it to the old snifferoo. Not sure what the fuck is the matter with you people. Uh, no notification. I'm seeing that. Uh, happy Punchy Fist. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know what to tell you. I haven't really fucked with any of the settings. I haven't really done much on Streamy other than just go go live right away. So I don't know. You know, people have told me they've had issues with the site. Some have said that the mobile uh, app or whatever gives them a bunch of shit. Other people have said that you know, hey, if I if I watch an archive video and I pause it, uh, the video automatically restarts at the beginning. Other people saying occasionally they run into stutters and stops. I, I think the Stream Me guys are working on it, but I, I don't know. You know, I, I think they should do like a poll or community outreach to get people's information to find out what platform they're watching it on, what operating system they're using, to try to find out what the underlying issues might be because it might give them a better idea of what's fucking up for people. But yeah, the notification thing is one thing I've, I've heard other people bring up where they don't get a notification some people do, some people don't. I, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know how it works. I couldn't tell you. Uh, let me refresh the poll here. Uh, this is shockingly close. 132 want to give it the old snifferoo. 184 say, I'm going to vomit when it comes to tuna melt chant. I don't think you want to give it a snifferoo, chat. I think if you gave it a snifferoo, you'd be vomiting too. Uh, somebody saying, look at his DA, his DeviantArt. He is a group admin. Well, you know what? Let's let's venture over to the DA. Let me pull it up here. Uh, give me one second. And we'll go we'll go venture into his uh, DeviantArt account and see what awaits us there. Here we are. So this is uh, Legends Are Eternal. This is his DeviantArt. And uh, he's been a Deviant for three years, it says. Lots of, lots of pictures being put up and uh, story art and shit like that. As you can imagine, he's very into Sonic, so there's a lot of Sonic in the favorites. You know, well, where's this About Me section? Let's take a look at this. Legends Are Eternal, Daniel Paul Moore. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Legends Are Eternal's site, your source for video games, anime, and so on. Keep in mind that I'm going to be using these characters that Kenneth S. Patsfield and I usually use for our stories. However, they're only our stories. So none of this is fictional. Keep Wait, what? However, they're only stories, so none of this is fictional. They're only stories, so none of this is fictional. Keep that in mind. Okay. I also do artwork. Oh, and before you ask, no. You can't have these characters. Ever. I'm only hiring artists and co-writers who know how to draw these characters and add in parts for these stories that I make. that are only from the Sonic Galaxy uh, Forums website. That includes characters from franchises such as Sonic, Mario, Final Fantasy, World of Warcraft, Soul Calibur, Dragon Age, and so on. Remember that. Oh, and one more thing. No pornography or swearing. Only swearing is allowed in stories. We're just trying to make this site more friendly. Failure to follow these rules will result in blocking. Anyway, enjoy your visit and have fun. Oh, and there's his co-writer. Who's his co-writer? Oh, I think this is Kenny. This is our boy from New Hampshire. Let's find out. Kenta Rosamond. Hey ya, I'm Kenta Rosamond. Michael works here too. I'm big on webcomics and like to draw when I'm not occupied watching anything or playing video games. I might be an artist for fun, but I've recently begun setting up to be a commission artist and hope to use the money for commissions to help people out. And uh, let's let's take a look at some of his artwork. <laughs> God, what is it with this guy in depression? Everybody around him is depressed. This is, uh, I guess this is his newest uh, blog post. This is his partner, Kentorisamon, from November 12th of last year. I'm so fucking slow, I'm sorry, dudes. Well, uh, that's one request out of a bajillion down. 
I promised so many people requests and haven't got back to them in years. Some of them aren't even active anymore. To those who happen to be reading this, sorry you all got to deal with my procrastinating ass, lol. Should have probably thought of that before trying to offer stuff to anyone who gave me a llama. Watched my profile in an effort to promote myself. Didn't really work anyways. Now, I don't know if it's the best idea to put up an introduction at the top of your page that says, hey, I'm going to do work for money. And then directly underneath that say, yeah, hey, sorry, guys. I know it's been years since you sent in your request, but I'm just not really up to doing it. Uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's just... Okay. Let's let okay. Let's look at his amazing artist. This is the guy that's going to be drawing the characters for us. Let's see if we recognize any Danny the Pandas. I'm not. I'm just looking for characters' names that pop out to me. Gigamax, lots of Gigamax. Uh, we got a clown here. TV face, Rover's flute. Uh, Zerion ogres. I'm not sure what that is. Kelvin. Kelvin's very edgy. Kelvin is the AI that lives in Mona's computer brain. He was a virus at some point, but he got assimilated, and now he's Mona's consciousness. Ghost in the shell. A woman with a computer brain, huh? Call me weird, but there's a lot of, um, potential in that. We've got some very original content on this. Oh, well, this one, it's not, this one isn't bad at all. Just two besties having a sleepover, one rage quitting a game, the other nodding off after eating a shitload of pizza. I tried a new way to draw I recently thought of. I might use it more often. Character's me. I wonder if that new way of drawing is called tracing. <laughs> Potentially might be. Well, sadly, I'm not seeing any of Danny the Panda's characters on this page. I'm, I'm looking, but I'm not seeing them. Then again, this guy has been waiting. He's got a backlog going fucking years. So it's understandable that we're not seeing any of the Danny the Panda characters. Let's back it up. Oh, let's see. You said he's a um, he's an admin of a group, admin of one group. SG Stories. Let's let's take a look and see what this is. Four members founded a year ago. Oh, maybe we can find Kai, Den Dorato, Saiyan Scaris, and Travis the Dragon Double O. What do you want to bet Travis the Dragon's got some interesting things? <laughs> Deviant ID. Hello, my, fev er, my fellow DeviantArt people. My name is Travis the Dragon 00, and welcome to my DeviantArt page. I'm socially awkward dude who likes to draw, play video games, and animate in Source Filmmaker. I'm a nice guy when you get to know me. But I'm also nervous around people, so yeah. It's a very bland, very bland thing, but let's, let's take a look at his gallery, see what we've got. Noticing there's a little bit of shit going on with Spyro. I think Spyro's face in this picture about sums up what our boy here. Uh, Travis the Dragon is into. That look is basically saying, I'm not meant to be jacked off to, bro. I'm just a video game character. <laughs> oh, there's lots of furry shit going on here. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. I don't even Is this a mouse or a cat? I don't know what this is. No, do not use without my permission. I wanted to start making PNG renders. This is a MTC character, Melania, Melania Smith. <laughs> don't use without my... May I use her? For what? For her to duke it out with one of my characters against a horde of monsters made by Alakazaz, one of my major villains. Give credit if you do. Okay, I'll be sure to credit you. I made sure to use my characters with permission as well. Gotta make Kylon first, though. Alright, so we've got an idea of the people he's working with. Let's see what... In the Well, we'll take a look here. Uh, yeah, I recognize these from his videos on YouTube. No, nothing here. This is all that's in this, the featured section. Let's see what we've got. Sonic uh, Galaxy Hero Legends Villains. Is this just a rundown of the people? Oh my god, look at this shit. Read a little bit here. Name, Ingram. Species, Jackal. Best friend, None. Enemies, Cyrus the Dragon Hog. Jesco Prower, the Foxhound. And Matthew the Cat Chidna. Element none. Weaknesses. When someone calls his father infinite weak. Ingram's greatest weakness is calling his dad a pussy. Voice actor. David Vincent. Family infinite. Father. Background. Ingram is the son of infinite who seeks vengeance for his father. 
bearing a hatred for Neo Jet er, Neo Sonic and his son Cyrus. Ingram wields the Phantom Sword, which requires the Phantom Ruby to increase its powers. We've got a breakdown of all his amazing Phantom Sword abilities. His normal abilities like virtual reality manipulation, spatial manipulation, enhanced agility, and enhanced durability. <laughs> I just I like that I like that this dude's one weakness is yeah, it's just telling him that his dad is a giant fucking pussy. Your, your dad's a weak little bitch, bro. Hey, Ingram, your dad sucks cocks on the street corner. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. Cyrus the Hedge, or <laughs> Hedgehog, Cyrus the Dragonhog told me he saw your dad getting a train pulled on him in a restroom, uh, a fucking truck stop restroom. Shameful. I, there's just, it's so much content. There's just so much. <laughs> First trailer, we I think we read that. Forever Red. This is uh, My Universe. Daniel's Biography. Oh, is this? Oh, this is him. All right, let's take a look. This is... Oh, shit. Yeah, if you remember yesterday, remember that Deadpool was talking in one of his stories about how he looked like Master Chief with a cape? This is it. This is what he was talking about. This is uh, Danny the Panda in his full armor. Daniel's Biography. Daniel Paul Moore in his 30s. Born January 16th. Occupation, Night Soldier. Creator of the Sonic Galaxy Forums. Gender, male. Blood type, B. Species, human. Best friend, Kenny. Home planet, Earth. Likes, video games such as Mario, Sonic, and so on. Anime, root beer, making stories, coming up with ideas, etc. Dislikes. The name, Sasuke. Freelancers, Master Chief ripoffs that can easily scar people for life romantic things, which is why he's not a fan of it. Video games that are horrifying to look at. Licorice. People killing other people. Losers. Deadpool's annoying personality. Etc. <laughs> it's the fucking licorice again. This dude really hates licorice. I don't know what's up with that. Backstory. Daniel grew up with no family or friends on planet Earth. The people of the Normandy treated him like a real family as he wanted to do something on his own when he was old enough. He discovered video games, anime, and various other things from his childhood days. Brought in by the Normandy in the mid-1980s, Daniel, er, <clears throat> Daniel began to believe everything about the whole entire meaning of friendship and family, undergoing the training of Major Max Ryder, who taught him everything that he knows about survival in space. He vowed to one day return to Earth, eliminate all the threats that have plagued his home planet. Daniel is known for protecting many people who are humans and aliens. As the scientists of the Normandy have constructed his first prototype suit, Danny dons the name of Night Soldier, as he would go to any planet to oppose any alien threat. He and Jack would then live a life of bringing evil to justice. <laughs> I think he switched things around. He and Jack would then live a life of bringing evil to justice. At 1995, Daniel's love for anime, video games, and various other things started to grow on him, as he had an affinity to use weaponry to be vigilant, even if it's guns, knives, or various others. He felt that he had a purpose in protecting planet Earth and outer space for reasons. He studied and learned the basics of his night soldier prototype suit. He became a master of it at age 16. Whoa! What? What? After succeeding in killing his own son, Daniel felt nothing but anger in him. After the loss of his best friend, whom he couldn't do anything to save, he wanted to end Jack's killer so that it will never happen again. He spent four months in the Normandy, training with a man named Kenny, who had his lost beloved girlfriend, who had lost his beloved girlfriend to cancer that she had been diagnosed with. And then we've got the weapon and power breakdown, and he's got a mech named Orin D., with uh, various mech components. Oh, and of course, if you're curious, his AI unit, Jackus, is voiced by Todd Habercorn, because, of course, that's very important to know. <laughs> oh, God, it's a whole world. This dude made up a whole fucking world of shit. Murdering his own son, fighting supervillains whose major weakness is calling their fathers pussies, women fucking dragons, <laughs> Deadpool for some reason. <laughs> That's great.
Uh, Jim, check out his... What is this? Check out his fan fiction page. All right, let's... Uh, I think we already looked at this, though, but let me let me take a look in case it's something I missed. Uh, no, no, we read this. This was the backstory of his characters. Yeah, we read this at the beginning of the stream. Oh, yeah, I just... I, I, I really wanted to delve more into it. There's so many stories, and I... God, you know, I think it was... Um, you know, back in the day when Christian did his Sonichu comics, uh, somebody went to the trouble of getting a narrator to narrate them and, like, organizing them, and it was really funny. They had annotations up. I think it was Vivitheg. Uh, I, I want to see that done with his Sonic Galaxy shit. Like, I, I want there to be an audiobook version of this shit, and I want to see these fucking characters because this is a world of lore that the Internet deserves to see. I think this... Our boy Danny in his quest to find forever friends. He's been, you know, he's been left out to dry. The artists that he works with don't really do their commissions. People from New Hampshire won't return his phone calls. He's having breakdowns on YouTube, threatening to blow <laughs> blowtorch people's faces and shit. He's just, he needs, he needs help. He needs people to join that forum to give him some nice comments on his videos and to put a little effort in to flush out that world of fantasy and fiction that he has dedicated himself to for 10 entire years if you're an artist and you've got an hour to kill draw, draw one of his characters i'd like to see the creation of those dragon human hybrids i'd love to know how that happens yes chat we will be danny's forever friend i think that is something that we all need to do we need to be his forever friend Somebody said chat found Kai. All right, let, give me a second. We're we're exploring. Let's find out if we've we found Kai. If that's really Kai. All right, now how do you know that this is Kai? Before we dive into this, let me let me see. Maybe there's a discussion. Maybe Danny commented on his page. Anybody's been blocked? No, I'm not seeing that. Uh, let me go oldest. Uh, no, that's top comments. Where where am I going to find this? I, I don't see anything about Sonic Galaxy in here, though. I'm just, I'm exploring here for a second. If this is truly his forever friend, Kai. I mean, it is an old enough account that you would think it is. But, you know, I can look through channels and see if he's subbed to uh, Danny. That might be a good way to do it. Lots of hedgehog shit in here. Lots of anime in here. Ah, oh, might have to explore this one later. Why is anti-spam on for the chat? I don't know. I, I tried to set everything on so people could say whatever they want. I uh, left troll chat enabled. Uh, I don't think there are any filters in place. I will I will take a look at it for the next stream. I'll give it my, my best endeavor. I'm just looking over this dude's channel. Darren Hades. Oh, why does it say my vlog, but it's not? And then it's just him playing San Andreas. It's really weird. Okay. I will explore that later. I don't want to jump the gun. And, you know, we think it's him. And then it's not him. God, Danny is really not very good at uh, concealing his identity. When you look at all his different accounts, he gives you his full name, the day he was born, where he lives, where he works. It says, I actually work at, what the fuck is Kalamazoo? Kalamazoo in Michigan. I, I work in Kalamazoo. Is it a museum? The Kalamazoo Valley Museum offers science, technology, and history exhibits. I just, I can't picture this really super autistic guy dressed as Naruto working in a museum. That's what it says on his, that's what it says on his Newgrounds account. Okay, buddy. Oh my God. Danny, Danny, Danny. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, let me see. One second. I, I uh, just give me a moment here, chat. As I, 
look up a few things. Uh, where are we going? Uh, let me read my Super Berries, some 87. Have you seen the short part Chris Chan made for the Shrek Retold movie on YouTube? Uh, yes, I have. I saw that when it popped out. It was it was okay, uh, but not not that memorable. From BCKSCR, have you seen the uh, the video of a Russian minister ordering a dachshund, <clears throat> a dachshund to be submerged into oxygenated liquid in order to test if it can survive? Uh, no, I've not seen that video, but I have seen videos of. Uh, Different lab animals being exposed to oxygenated liquid. Moon Vlad, is it just me or is the kill stream incredibly boring now? I only want to gear I only want to hear Jesse Lee Peterson spam and SBCC. Thanks a bunch. I, I don't know. You know, I, I haven't really watched the kill stream the last couple of nights. Um, I know they had I think it was David Duke on tonight. I tuned in for a little bit, but uh, he is like on a fitness kick. It's like David Duke talking about eating broccoli and doing leg reps and shit. So, so I was like, okay. And then I saw Nick Ricada was getting super fucking drunk and uh, streaming about shit. I, I, I hopped over to that. Uh, the Spy Guy. Will you share some old Medicare Forum heterosexual ops that have never seen the light of day or just one? Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, uh, why not? Give me a second. Let me... I will show you something Habiberman did back in the day. Would that, would that interest you, chat? Would you like to see a Haberman 24-hour op? I can show you one. I'll wait for you to catch up. You tell me if that's what you want. Seeing people say yes, show us the glory of Habiberman. Okay. Give me one second to pull this up, and I will show you one of his homosexual ops. Uh, let me let me find the perfect picture to go with this. One second. One second. Uh, it's probably being extras. Where am I gonna keep? Where would I, where would I find this? There we go. Okay, well, <laughs> look at this centered. There we go. This would be one of Habiberman's homosexual operations on the internet. There we go. Hopefully that's showing up for everybody. Uh, let me find the audio here. Okay. I'll give you the backstory on this before I play the audio. Uh, this is about a kid named Ulrich the Hedgehog. Now, Ulrich the Hedgehog was into some demented shit on, like, DeviantArt. And Haberman thought it would be funny if he pretended to be a Catholic priest and called the boy's father to tell him that his son liked to jack off to dogs. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the setup for this homosexual operation. Uh, and it's Pastor John White is what he called himself. So I'll play some of the audio to give you an idea. Uh, let's let's start this off. Hello. Hello. Have I reached the McCoys? Yes. Uh, hello. This is Pastor John White. Uh, um, can I speak to the man of the house or the woman of the house? Uh, actually, there is only the man here right now. Okay, that'll be fine then. Okay. And that voice you heard, I think that's Ulrich the Hedgehog. I'm not 100% certain. This was this was one of uh, Habiberman's uh, independent 24-hour uh, <laughs> ops. He kind of just did this on his own and then dropped it on people. So I'm not 100% on the background. Hello. Hello, this is uh, Pastor John White. Uh, you're the father, uh, Mr. McCoy? Yes, I am. Uh, your son, is, his name is Connor, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a pastor operating out of New York, and uh, I noticed the article in the, uh, the Catholic Voice, the Omaha Catholic Voice. I noticed he was recently in production of Oliver. I, I can't say that I saw it, but I heard he was quite good. Uh, I operate out of a church in uh, New York, and I, I like to keep up with all the other parishes, you know, uh, keep up with all the other churches, you know, keep the Catholic faith. But... Uh, I looked up your son. I know he had a role, so you know I like to keep, I like to know about the children. And uh, unfortunately, uh, it's calls about him. I, I, I googled his name on the uh, internet, uh, Connor McCoy, and uh, something came up. It was uh, quite strange. Uh, are, you, are you familiar with the site DeviantArt? 
Deviant Art. What? Deviant Art. It's a website on the uh, internet. Yes, I am. Uh, your son, he uh, he has an account there. He posted his name on the internet, and uh, and I must say the content. You know, Deviant Art. It's a uh, the name alone is conscious images. I mean, it's, it's not that great. But uh, your son, he has pictures of himself on the page, and uh, they're of a somewhat disturbing nature. Have you seen the pictures before that he's drawn? That he's drawn. Yes, he's he's drawn pictures. Uh, he seems to yeah, have. Yeah, I've seen some of uh, some of his pictures. Uh, some of them are. Uh, you've seen some of them are quite in a, in a quite a disturbing nature. Uh, pictures of him. Uh, uh, it's not to say eating other people. You know, he's drawn himself as a little character, as a uh, Ulrich the Hedgehog or something of that sort. And he has he he has pictures of him eating other animals, not as the predatory sense, but they seem to be enjoying it. It's. Uh, it's quite perverse in nature. It's it's troubling. It really is, because you know it's a Catholic boy. I mean, we got everyone has to keep the faith. But these pictures are of a very devious nature. They're pictures of him covered in blood, uh, with captions saying how uh, this is what happens when people make fun of me. Uh, I don't know if he's if he's being troubled. If someone perhaps has been making fun of him, uh, I would ask him about this because some of these pictures they're really just quite disturbing. There's a picture called a good sibling. This uh, it's a picture of him. He seems to have a uh, his he is a picture of himself and there appears to be a girl inside his stomach and the caption says are you warm yet sis and as if he's e the implication that he's eaten his sister or something of that sort it's it's quite it's just troubling it really is because you know he posts his name this is all public I didn't need to create an account on the website to view these pictures I mean they're right there with his name they're photographs of him uh, maybe perhaps his address I don't know but uh, it's just really quite disturbing. I just wanted to make you aware to these things because it's just very troubling. And, you know, we have to keep the faith. And uh, your child, I, I would question him about these things. Not to question your parents, not to question your judgment, but uh, these pictures is quite a perverse nature, quite disturbing. Uh, I fear he might be straying from the path. I, I don't know. It's uh, quite disturbing. Uh, you still there? No. I, um, I will check into it. I, uh, you can search for it. Uh, if you have a computer, if you uh, have a computer of your own, you can go into the Google and type in Ulrich the Hedgehog. You'll see, and uh, go onto the DeviantArt website. Uh, it'll be right next to his name. And uh, you'll see his picture on there. He's taken photographs of himself with a book called the uh, Death Note or something of that sort, which is in its own right disturbing. But uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's for confirmation that it is Connor. And I just want to make sure that you, you were aware of these things because they are quite disturbing. I'm sorry to uh, I'm sorry to interrupt your night like this, and I'm sorry. Oh no, no, no! I you know I appreciate you know. If you, you... The father sounds like he's about three sheets of the wind uh, during the call, but as you asked, Chad, were there any were there any 24-hour ops Habiberman was engaged in? Uh, Pastor John White would be one of them, if I remember right. After this fucking phone call to his dad, Ulrich posted a very angry message on DeviantArt saying that some bully had called his family, and now his parents were forcing him to delete everything and shut down every account he had, because they found out he was drawing... They found out he was drawing sex pictures of his sister getting vored by him. So he was... He was not the most thrilled hedgehog on the internet. Now, there's other audio, too, like... Um, with the uh, North American Shooter uh, 2012 thing, uh, Fox News wanted to do an interview. And uh, Haberman was the one that ended up talking to the Fox News guy. And it was like 25 minutes long, but I don't know where the audio for that is. So <laughs> you'd have to go, you'd have to go uh, digging for it to find that particular bit of Medicare lore. But there you go. That's the Habiberman, 24-hour ops, Pastor Jonathan White, calling up Ulrich the Hedgehog's father to inform them that his son is into cannibalism. <laughs> it's just... It's fucking awful, but it, that there you go. That's the that's the Lord of the Ops for you. Uh, Lore 1.0. There you go. Yeah, I, I'm, glad, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh. <laughs> it's miserable. It's just miserable. It's just miserable. It's miserable. It's just miserable. That it's miserable. It's miserable miserable shit <laughs> I, I keep using the same word but it's miserable miserable things miserable situation miserable 
just miserable. Well, I've enjoyed our little morning stream. I wanted to look more into our boy Daniel. Read some more of that hot fanfic. Dive into the lore. Meet his friends. Find out what makes him tick. Get some backstory on the, the world crafting that he's been doing. I think we've done that. I've enjoyed myself. Uh, this Sunday, don't forget, we've got Kraut and Tea coming on. I've agreed to the terms of no superberries. He was very adamant about that. And we're going to be discussing his gay ops on Sunday. Uh, as he, I guess, wants to try to tell his side of the story and defend himself against the slander of the internet. Uh, good luck on that, buddy. So we'll be going over the history of his gay ops, uh, his gay op affiliating, and uh, where he wants to take it, I suppose. I'm not 100% certain, but we'll find out this Sunday. This Sunday, fun day, when Kraut and T, the Trout himself, arrives on stream. I gave him the option of bringing a, a second person if he wanted to, but he did not take me up on that. Maybe Jeff Holiday will drunkenly visit anyway. Maybe we'll get David Shitrat to pop in. Or Drillasta. Or Liberal Sanity Project who can tell us how upsetty spaghetti we are. Who knows? But we'll be discussing everything from the initial uh, 2017 bullshit up until him going after, I guess, Black Pigeon Speaks. I have no idea why he decided to fuck with him. But uh, I guess Kraut's got a thing out for Black Pigeon Speaks. We'll find out more about it on the Sunday stream. Hope you all have a wonderful morning in doing your normal daily routines. Uh, remember, David Duke, Dr. David Duke says, Eat your broccoli. Make sure to do some sit-ups and some pull-ups. Get yourself physically fit. That's uh, special fitness advice from Dr. David Duke. I'll put up some outro music. I hope you have a good day, and I will see you on Sunday. Fun day.